and also sought a balance in the suspension, rather than running with plain vanilla stems or some kind of adjustable system. The factory opted for Showa's dual bending valve forks that run with fixed values that are also variable according to demand due to the clever spring valve damper control. Outback. The Mana Shop comes with the obligatory spring preload, but nothing else. Suspension travel numbers look good with 6 inches up front and 5.9 in back. So you can count on enough travel to take on some of the nastiest road conditions. At 474 pounds wet, the 750 gets by with a single, 320 mm disc and two piston anchor up front and a 240 mm disc and single paw caliper out back. A twin-channel ABS stands over watch to allow you to get the most out of the brakes when it's time to haul it down. Cast aluminum rims round out the rolling chassis with 17 inches at both ends and a 120-70 hoop up front opposite a 160-60 that brings up the rear. Honda knows you're liable to be filtering through traffic, safely I'm sure, right? Or otherwise pulling some low-speed maneuvers on a regular basis and nothing helps that quite like a nice, beefy bottom end, no giddity. So, you can expect 50 pound-feet of torque at 4,750 revolutions per minute with 54 horsepower that comes on at 6,250 and a newly increased redline at 7,500 revolutions per minute.